Hey y'all, it's Tyler Kimani and welcome to Orgasmic Media. Welcome back to another episode of Orgasmic Media. I'm here with the fabulous DJ Philip. If y'all don't know him, he is Blast DJ. He get the party racket, get the concerts popping. How you doing? I'm good. You good? How you doing? I'm good. I can't complain. So how you been? You guys just did day in Vegas. Yep. How was it? Shout out to Las Vegas and Days in Vegas. It was <laughs> popping, man. It was popping. Great weekend for sure. Yeah. Seen a lot of big acts. Vegas was lit. That's good. So, um, just to guys give you guys an insight, you know, you, you before you started to were blast and becoming his DJ, you kind of had a little trials and tribulations or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you kind of shed light on how that experience was for you, and then walking into like all of this success? from that setback? Well, first off, it was like, I told myself like, damn, I gotta do this time, whatever. And I'm not just gonna just lollygag or be, you know, just sitting here. So got my mind right, my body right, you know, mentally, physically, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Why you come on physically? <laughs> nah, I'm just saying like, you know, it's, it's a lot, and it was a lot to go through, but you know, I came out strong. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I manifested everything that's happening right now. So you already knew it was that ready, it was gone. Yeah. You was ready to come out and just do your shit. Hell yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And like Blast was in tune. I was in tune with each other. You know, on the phone here and there. You know, but he was telling me too, like it's going up. Even he couldn't believe it how fast it's going. But yeah. Shit, we signed up for it. So. Yeah, that nigga is out of here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it's dope to see that he is taking you with him along on the journey. And I love second chance stories because it's like, you know, you had a setback, but he came and bounced back 10 times yeah, harder. For sure, for sure, yeah. um, how has the touring and like going to the different states and seeing different people, how's the festivals and all that been for you? Like yeah. after all that? Yeah, it was my first tour, also his and just the whole team. Uh, it was a lot of fun. City to city, it was a sold out tour, so just yes. the love and <clears throat> experiencing new things, eating new food, seeing the different cultures, it was for sure like a great experience. So, yeah, shout um, out to Blast, the music, and yeah. the whole Eagle team. Sure. Shout out to the Eagle team, y'all <laughs> killing it out there. Um, I went to the LA show where Snoop came out and everything, oh, yeah. that shit was fun. Yeah, shout out Uncle Snoop, too. Yeah, shout show. out to Snoop Dogg, okay. Yeah. Um, what was what has been your like most memorable or your favorite? experience while on tour uh i would have to say rolling loud because that was me and blast first big stage together and it was just like we killed it like wow so we just told each other like man it's on the up from here so let's keep killing it and yeah <laughs> <laughs> um is it exciting for you to like get the crowd going for blast so like when he come out they hype because i see you for day in vegas how was that for you? Uh, it was fun because like I dropped the song and nobody knew like, oh, who is this guy? Who is this DJ? Then once I said like, oh, Eagle Gang in the building, Blast coming out, like the crowd started going up, like, all right, we got a show. So then when Blast even came out, the star studded, mm -hmm. they rocked with the whole set, song to song, know the words, hands up, middle fingers, all the little, you know. <laughs> it was lit. Shout That's what's up. I, I love that. I love that you're experiencing that. Um, like I said, you and Blast go way back. Um, why is it important for DJs and the artists to have like, to be on the same page and kind of have like a chemistry going? Well, uh, first off, if your artists don't believe in your music, I mean, not the art, sorry. If the DJ <laughs> don't believe, I'm high. It's if the <laughs> DJ don't believe in the artist, like as far as the artist believing in the DJ, then it's like, what are we even here for? We wasting each other's time, so. It's always great to have that relationship, even if the DJ have a small input on the music, probably take that chance or not, you know, just always have them around and you build that relationship. So when it goes to performing and how you want to sound, your DJ is supposed to have your back. Yeah. You me? As far as the artist supporting the DJ, like, yo, my DJ could spin. I know he got me off back, so I know he could get you right as well. You know, just having that confidence for each other, yeah. and, like backing each other up. And just as much as the artists need the DJ, the, art, the DJ need an artist, so. Do you it's and Blast, oh, sorry, not to cut you off, yeah, what'd you sure. say? No, I'm saying it's hand in hand. Okay. Um, when you guys are doing your performances on stage and stuff, you guys kind of like make a list of what songs you're gonna play before he comes out, or you just like know what vibes need to be set? 
Um, of course, so we're not doing this at like the little level. So of course we rehearse and we do mostly like an hour, sometimes more or less of a show, but we always make sure we go over a show tape and have the song selected just so we know like, all right, after this song, we can play Fuck Boys. After Fuck Boys, yeah. we can play uh, Be Alone or, you know, oh, drop a, you know, just saying. Mm -hmm. or And we always keep that communi uh, communication because when I'm after a song, like he look at me, I look at him. And he know like, all right, I Next. know the vibe. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. I like that. Um, how do you prepare before a show? Because I feel like like I would be so nervous to like, like you have to get the crowd hype for the artist. So that's like a lot of pressure on you. Like, Oh, yeah. This is water, by the way. But, uh, it's water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before a show, I just make sure uh, I'll shit, smoke a little weed. <laughs> Get into my mode, you know, and then I contact Blast, like, yo, how you feeling? Good morning, you know, mm -hmm. get our day going. Like, how you feel about the show tape? What you want to do? How you feeling? And like, let's run the stock, man. You know, I know what to run. It's like, he the quarterback, I'm the right receiver, you know what I mean? So, I like, I like that analogy. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't watch sports like that no more, but I get what you're saying. Um, So, like you said, rolling out was your first one. Were you like, scared that the crowd wasn't gonna fuck with you because <laughs> i mean sometimes i feel like that but it's like i've been djing since 2008 so i was 14 so it was like if my voice ain't getting you getting your spine rising and the hairs on your back going up the song gonna get you going up so it's like hand in hand so now the dj coming out lit and it's my favorite song yeah you gonna i'm gonna move you for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. you you a seasoned vet out here yeah, you know, I, I've, I've been in the field. I've been I believe field. I've been to a couple of DJ for the party. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to keep that in the reps because that was back in the day. Real ratchet. <laughs> um, and I'm going to see you roll it loud, too. So I'm going okay. to see how you get as hyped oh, sure. in San Bernardino. Right? Yeah. Oh, come on now. That's a, home base. We in a dirty D. December. I'm ready. I'm excited. Um, yes. What advice can you give to like an ex an inspiring aspiring DJ that's coming up and um, wanting to get into the DJ lane? Well, I can say two things. Uh, you know, be persistent. You know, time is everything. Time is money. Uh, but you don't want to have that logic in your head like time is money because I've done a lot of things or nothing like you give me like money is nothing to me like you can't buy me you can't book me i feel like that because if i don't want to do it genuinely then i'm just not gonna do it yeah like you give me you can't force me or try to persuade me it's just not gonna happen <laughs> like you give me uh also get into other things with your music because after djing for about seven years i got into engineering okay so now i mix vocals and you know, be in studio sessions and really hand in hand with music. Mm -hmm. And you know, have had songs that million plus streams and, you know, still on the road to success. Like, so just be persistent and keep grinding. Tribes and tribulations, you're going to fall, you're going to crumble, yeah. you know, just keep going though. And make sure your name is everything. So branding yourself, and, yeah. you know, shaking them hands, relationships. Yeah. There's a lot to it, but once you sign up for this and you and your craft take you to other places and people raising their hands and like, woo, cheering for you, mm -hmm. you get a whole nother drive and like, for sure. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> how did your family feel? Because I know they're like excited and like love seeing you out there doing your thing. Oh, hell yeah. Like, uh, shout out to Blast too, because I told him like, he the first person that like got my mom and my dad to see me perform live for him. Like you feel me? Hell yeah! Like that was an emotional little roller coaster. That is like, so cute. <laughs> for real, for real. Like you know, my parents know. Like, like my son's a DJ. Mm -hmm. He's DJ. Yeah. I'm hearing about him. Yeah. I see him go to these events. He got the speakers and the big, you know, the big truck to go. Yeah. You know? It's just like for them to see me in action live, and then Uncle Snoop come out and like. You know, hearing me on the radio. You know, hearing me. Yeah, you know, just, it's a magical moment. Yeah. That is, that is so sure. cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> that is so cute. Um, you've brushed, um, touched a lot of elbows with a lot of different people in this past yeah. year. Who has been your favorite person that you've met so far? Uh, I'm have to say, well, that's a good one because I've met a lot of people. Yeah, it's probably about 
I want to say, can I have like three? Yeah, go ahead. Because <laughs> when I was on the East Coast during the uh, No Love Lost tour, uh, we was at J. Cole. He uh, he sold out the Barclays and I shout out J. Cole. And uh, yeah, I met J. Cole and his entourage. And Moray was there, like Moray, cool cat, funny energy, you know, and then Buster Rhymes pulled up. You yeah, so it's just like, yeah, so just that moment, that's one moment. You get me just mm-hmm. like, all right, you know, you got Blast in the building, Murray, J. Cole, Buster Rhymes, and Buster Rhymes, like, giving everybody they do it, like, young niggas is up. I come for y'all for, for inspiration. You give me just, like, heart to heart, you know. And we West Coast niggas on the East, East getting Coast, love. Getting like, love yeah, from so. OGs. From OGs. You know, some people think that OGs is, like, hating, but that's dope to hear that, you know, he's giving uh, yeah. y'all y'all flowers. Also, damn, made it Uncle Snow. I was about to say, do you smoke <laughs> Uncle Snow? Yes. He got you faded, huh? Uncle Snow, Uncle Snow, cool. I'm going to smoke Uncle Snow. I'm going to manifest that, but that's what's <laughs> up. Good weed, too. Probably came from Uncle he, Snow. I was about to say, he gave you that. <laughs> Ain't no telling, man. Shout out Uncle Snow for sure. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Um, that is amazing. I'm, I'm really happy for you, and, you know, I know y'all are about to take the war, y'all already taking the war by storm. Yeah, you but you forgot one more though. I forgot one more. Mid and Funk Master Flex as well. Wow. Yeah, he opened up for us in New York. Yeah, like, I seen that. His energy, like super OG salute, like Funk Master Flex, for real. Have you, he got it going. Like he's still dope. <laughs> did you get any pointers from him? Hell yeah. They all said. It, I don't want to say they all said the same thing, but it's just like it's a formula. And it's like, these guys are successful. And it's, the formula don't change. It's just the time change. You, mm-hmm. get me? you might have a little social media, but you still got to stay persistent. You know, you might have a little TikTok or something else, but you still got to grind and be in the streets and hands on with this shit. So Yeah, that's amazing. I'm glad that you're experiencing it. And sorry, my back is itchy. I'm glad you're experiencing this and getting all of this love and um, advice from OGs that have been oh, in the yeah. game. And you gonna have a story to tell for sure. I need a book. <laughs> for sure. I, yeah, I can write a On book. the ones and twos with DJ Phillip. <laughs> oh, I need my 10%. That's also, the one also, right also, there. Shout out to you. you know, thank you for having me on the platform. No problem. Thank you for coming. You know, yeah. you big money now. Like, you know, <laughs> I had to get you before you know. Nah, I still, you know, fuck with the city. You know what I mean? I appreciate you so much. But are you ready for game time? Yeah, we got some game time. Okay, before we go to game time, we're about to get into a quick commercial and we'll be right back. It's gonna be alright. Keep your fire, baby, don't you cry. Overthink when you close your eyes. Cut him off, baby, don't think twice, yeah. You've been way too nice. To these niggas, don't choose the wrong guy. No, you heard, I can see it in your eyes. No, it's hard, baby, don't stop trying, yeah. Girl, I know that you hurt. You try, but nothing ever works. Wasted time, you feeling like you curse. Thoughts in your mind, you know that you deserve it. You just gotta know your worth. Yeah, he lied to your heart, now it's firm. Girl, you scared to love, it could be worse. Scared to love, it could be. Yeah, baby, you amazing. Let me take care of you, no more complaining. Welcome back, y'all. And you already know what time it is. It's gang time. I'm about to test DJ Phillip on his samples because we played Know That Sample last time and Jay Ward and Kane just had me scared for the future of generations to come. Like, y'all don't know y'all samples. So we about to test him out and see if he knows his samples because he's a DJ. I feel like he should. This The first one. I feel like you should know this one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's emotion by Roger. Okay. Sure. <laughs> let's let's see let's see the sample. What's this one? It doesn't. You probably gotta spit that thing up for that. I was about to say you gotta move it. It's in there. It's right here. <laughs> okay, next one. Pause. Why is Dom Kennedy album not on the streaming service? Do you know the voice of this person? Yeah. 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 
I know it's Dom. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want to know the sample? The sample. <laughs> Okay. It's a Leah. <laughs> My guest can't smoke weed before we go. <laughs> I told you, I don't know. <laughs> okay. The next one should be easy. You scare me. Y'all scare me. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that sample. Everybody know that sample, but I don't know. Wait. You don't know the name. <laughs> nah, I don't. You do. But I know the song, though. Yes. I know the song, but I don't know the artist. It's one of those moments. It's an old school song, though? At yeah, least. Like, oh, well. oh, there you go. She wanted it. And I'm the fucking DJ. Right. It's, it's called this DJ. You don't know it? Oh, God. <sighs> it's all right. So this is sample, okay? <laughs> Let's go to number three. My boy Ty. Okay. Ty Dollar Sign. Oh, it's number four, sorry. Maybe I should smoke it. This song used to go up. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out my boy Ty and Jizzle. That's it at 112. So, only only yeah. Okay, you got you got okay. two so far. Hey, that's a banger. Forever. I should drop this at a festival, right? Like. You should. I'm giving you ideas. When you drop it, you gotta shop. Oh, number five. I feel like everybody, this is easy. This is easy. So free my nigga 03 though. 303. But I forgot oh, this sure. sample. Yeah, I'm mad at you because it's so easy is that it's in the name of the song. Sweet baby. Tyrese. Tyrese. Y'all gotta stop doing drugs. Okay. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I just smoke a little weed. Stop doing marijuana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My nigga Tyree. Tyree, you're big, homie. <laughs> Why you do that man like that? What do you mean? That's the album cover. <laughs> okay, let's go to number six. Free my nigga 03, man. Free 03. Shout out to 03. Stop playing. Do you know the sample of this? This might be tricky. If you're not into like white music, you wouldn't know. Okay, sample. He don't know. God damn it. You still got more than Jay Ward in them though. Everybody knows this song. Everybody knows this song. <laughs> No disrespect, man. We can work this song. <laughs> this song is for sure. Hit. Everybody knows this song. I forgot when it came out. But I've never seen the title cover, so don't don't come batching me. It's okay. But you still got more than Jay Ward in them, so I'm going I'm gonna give you your little props. But we gotta we gotta work on y'all. They are we are losing. We making music. We making our type of music. Like no disrespect to nobody. But you, you know but. What I mean? We take samples from the old school, so we still gotta know oh, yeah, sure. like where they come from. Well, I'm making my type of music. I can okay, that. talk your shit then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you for coming out and being a guest on the show. I thank appreciate you. you. So I will see you at Rolling Loud in San Bernardino. I hope you turn it up. You better shout me out too. Shout out. <laughs> I'm kidding, you don't have to shout me out, but, <laughs> but it's great having you and much success. I know y'all about to like do a big out here. But before we go, we're about to get into this live performance and we keeping it in the Eagle family with Jay Million. He's about to perform Karma. Check it out. My boy Jay Millie. That these bitches got my heart, I thought you had the key You know that I hit it when you mad at me Seen inside of me, you never had to see You say I'm crazy, I just think I lost my sanity This is for my family Cause I've been going through some things 
Lately it been feeling like it just won't change Trapped in a certain mood is strange It's gonna be okay You wanna end it all but it's gonna be okay Don't see no point in crying baby we okay We want 50-50 love it gotta be both ways You saying that you wanna go back to the old days But I don't see no time for no games baby don't play yeah. Just tell me you gon' stay Forget about what everybody say Cause baby I'm starstruck yeah, I want you to myself, but these demons try to harm us. Guess it's just, yeah, baby, I'm starstruck. Yeah, I want you to myself, but these demons try to harm us. Guess it's just karma. Yeah, yeah, guess it's just karma. Baby, she the baddest, niggas living lavish Pretty as she think, I know she eat her rice and cabbage But I gotta have it, let me beat it up I put that pussy in the casket Ride it so good, little baby working magic Bonnie and Clyde, girl, we falling like the Mavericks Hand on your thigh while we sagging through the traffic Cruising down Atlantic, take you down to Saxon Cause you know you a bad bitch, baby, we can do it up Yeah, tell me what you do for love I just hope that I ain't do enough all that bullshit ain't got nothing to do with us Everybody coming in and trying to screw it up Maybe they can't screw it up, yeah I don't need nobody else, girl, cause you enough I don't need nobody else, girl, cause you enough, yeah Maybe I'm starstruck, yeah I want you to myself, but these demons try to harm us Guess it's just, yeah Maybe I'm starstruck, yeah I want you to myself, but these demons try to harm us. Guess it's just karma. Yeah, yeah. Guess it's just karma. Man, shit. Thank y'all for listening to me, man. Shout out to you for bringing me out here. My name is Jay Million. You will see me again.